Imagine a place so cold that atoms practically freeze. Hold on to your hats, folks, because we're about to enter the mind-blowing world of Bose-Einstein condensates, or BECs. Picture this, a realm so frigid that atoms, those tiny building blocks of matter, lose their individual identities and perform a synchronized dance like a cosmic ballet. We're talking about temperatures colder than the coldest, darkest corners of outer space. Intrigued? You should be. BCs exist at temperatures just a hair above absolute zero, the point where all atomic motion grinds to a halt. It's a place where the familiar laws of physics start to get a little fuzzy and quantum weirdness reigns supreme. In this bizarre realm, atoms act less like individual particles and more like a single, unified wave of matter. It's like a stadium full of rowdy fans suddenly transforming into a perfectly synchronized choir. The discovery of BECs sent shockwaves through the scientific community, opening up entirely new avenues of research and pushing the boundaries of our understanding of the universe. So buckle up as we delve into the fascinating world of BECs, where the ultra-cold meets the ultra-weird. What happens when things get really, really cold? We're not just talking about winter chills or a frosty morning. We're diving into the realm of extreme cold, where temperatures plummet to unimaginable lows. Before we can dive into the weird and wonderful world of BACs, we need to understand the concept of absolute zero. This is the coldest temperature theoretically possible, a point where molecular motion comes to a near standstill. Now absolute zero isn't just your average chilly day. We're talking about minus 273.15 degrees Celsius or minus 459.67 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a temperature so cold, it defies our everyday experiences. It's the ultimate lower limit of temperature, the point at which atoms and molecules have the least amount of energy possible. Imagine a world where everything is almost completely still. Think of it like this. Imagine a group of hyperactive puppies. They're full of energy, running around, barking, and generally causing chaos. This is similar to how atoms behave at normal temperatures. They're constantly in motion, vibrating, rotating, and colliding with each other. That's like matter at normal temperatures. Atoms are constantly in motion, vibrating, rotating, and colliding with each other. It's a bustling, energetic scene at the atomic level. As you cool things down, those puppies start to calm down. Their movements become sluggish. They slow down, just like atoms do when temperatures drop. That's like matter at lower temperatures. The once energetic atoms now move more slowly, their energy levels dropping. But at absolute zero, those puppies are completely still. They lie motionless, as if frozen in time. They're not even trembling in their sleep. At this point, there's no energy left for any movement. That's because at absolute zero, atoms have absolutely no kinetic energy left. They're as still as they can possibly be. It's a state of perfect stillness. Now, in the real world, reaching absolute zero is like trying to catch a unicorn riding a roller coaster. It's theoretically possible, but practically impossible. The closer we get, the more elusive it becomes. However, scientists have gotten incredibly close, and that's where things start to get really interesting. Because when we approach these extreme low temperatures, we enter the fascinating world of Bose-Einstein condensates because that's where we find BCs. These states of matter reveal new and exciting quantum phenomena that challenge our understanding of physics. Atoms love to move, but how does temperature affect their groove? Atoms are like tiny dancers, constantly in motion. At high temperatures, they're a chaotic mosh pit, bouncing off each other with wild abandon. This frantic jig is what we perceive as heat. The hotter things get, the faster these atomic party animals move. As temperatures drop, things start to cool down, literally. The atomic mosh pit turns into a more civilized dance floor. Atoms slow down, their movements become more controlled, and they start to behave themselves. Think of it like transitioning from heavy metal to a graceful waltz. 
but here's where things get really mind-blowing. At temperatures near absolute zero, something truly bizarre happens. The atoms, now barely moving, start to lose their individual identities and behave like a single, unified entity. It's like all the dancers in the ballroom suddenly merging into one giant, synchronized super dancer. This is the essence of a Bose-Einstein condensate, a state of matter where atoms act collectively, marching to the beat of the same quantum drummer. Bose and Einstein, the masterminds of cold atoms. Meet the geniuses who predicted a state of matter that revolutionized quantum mechanics. Satyendra Nath Bose and Albert Einstein paved the way for a new era in physics. In the 1920s, Bose studied photons and developed Bose-Einstein statistics. He sent his findings to Einstein, who saw their profound implications. Einstein applied Bose's methods to atoms, predicting the Bose-Einstein condensate, BEC. Cooling atoms to extremely low temperatures would form a new state of matter. In 1995, scientists created a BE, confirming Bose and Einstein's predictions. This achievement marked a new chapter in physics, inspiring future generations. The quest for the coldest prize. A scientific thriller. How scientists tricked atoms into the ultimate chill zone, pushing the boundaries of what we know about the quantum world. Creating a Bose-Einstein condensate, or Beck, is no easy feat. It requires a deep understanding of quantum mechanics and a lot of patience. Scientists had to get creative, using a combination of lasers and magnetic fields to chill out these atomic party animals. The first step involves slowing down the atoms using lasers. These lasers act like tiny hands, gently pushing the atoms to reduce their speed. This technique is called laser cooling, and it earned its inventors the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1997. Once the atoms are sufficiently chilled, they're trapped in a magnetic field, like an invisible cage. Then, by carefully manipulating the magnetic field, scientists can cool the atoms down even further, bringing them closer to absolute zero. The successful creation of a BSE opens up new realms of scientific exploration and potential technological advancements. The journey to create a Beck is a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of Bose-Einstein condensates, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more mind-blowing science content.